Hey, how are you today? I want to talk to you about success and worthiness. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard you have to feel worthy in order to have money? You need to feel worthy in order to be successful. You need to feel worthy in order to have love. Well, that is a bunch of baloney and I am gonna tell you why. So before we get started, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Robin Jonna Rosenhaus. I'm an energetic bushwhacker for businesses. I work with six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs and their teams to ensure that they achieve the results that they are looking for. So with that, I have had plenty of experience working with the wealthy. And let me tell you something. So many of my wealthy clients have deep worthiness issues. Exactly the same worthiness issues as my clients who aren't wealthy. So if you need to feel worthy in order to be able to have money and receive money and be successful, how is this possible? And before I even get into that, let me just remind you of something, especially if you don't know me. When I met my husband, there was no way in the world I felt worthy of receiving love, especially love the way he loves me. Like, no way. <laughs> and yet, here we are, 10 years later, 12 years later, a million years later, I don't know <laughs> how many lifetimes later, and we're still married and we're still in love. So let's wipe that clean from your psyche. The people who are teaching that are mistaken, okay? So here's the deal. The worthiness gets outweighed by your actions and by your desires. Like I know people who don't even feel worthy enough to breathe the air. Like literally, I am not, I, I, I'm not kidding about this. I'm not exaggerating. And yet here they are. And for those of you who are doing well in your business or have great relationships, when you sit there and you think about the things that you go to the, your healer about, that you talk to your best friend about, that the, the, things, the things that get you angry, if you really go underneath and look at why they make you feel angry, it's because it's hitting your self-worth button. Think about that. Skill and desire are completely unrelated to self-worth. And if you engage in them enough and you believe in them enough and you work hard enough, I hate to say work hard enough, you can be successful. You can have what you want. And the worthiness is going to get in the way in that you're not going to be as happy as you would like to be. You're not going to feel as fulfilled as you would like to feel. That's where the self-worth stuff gets in the way. And it might even get in the way of your sales. Right, because, and, and not even sales of everything. You could be really great at promoting some of your products and services, and then maybe your higher price things, you're not so great at promoting, right? Because then you're like, mm, I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know if they're gonna get the results. You know, that's, these are ways that things get the worthiness gets in the way. But there's always workarounds. There's always workarounds. 
You do work, engage in workarounds every day and you have no clue that you're even doing it. So let's get rid of that whole paradigm that worthiness is related to your ability to make money, to be successful, to have a, a great love life, to have a great family life, to be able to have the good things you want in life, to be able to receive. We receive every day. I hate when people say, oh, you have a problem receiving. No, you never have a problem receiving because we're all really good at receiving criticism. We're really good at receiving the air that we're breathing. What we're not always good at is receiving compliments. We're not always good at receiving money. We're not always good at receiving um, um, instruction. Right? So it's just getting more skilled at receiving the good stuff. So I don't want to go off into a whole other tangent here because I can feel myself. Like I'm just watching all the tentacles. This is the stuff that keeps me up at night. This is the stuff that I wish that I could just turn around and like just take it, download it. Lonely again. I can't do that. I wish I could. What I can do is work with you to help you get more skilled at meeting the challenges that are coming up in your business and saying yes to the opportunities that are going to show up over the next three months in your business. That's part of what you get if you get a quarterly reading package. We dig into your business. We read the energy for the next three months so that you are prepared, so that you know what skills you need to improve so that you can do what needs to be done to take advantage of the beneficial energies so that you can meet the, the challenging energies like they're just nothing more than a fly on your shoulder. Like gone, gone. So if this sounds like something that would be helpful to you, and let me tell you something, no matter where you are in your business, this is helpful to you. I do this for myself so I know what to be ready for. My clients love this. They feel so much more empowered. And you know what happens? It shows up in their confidence. It shows up in their self-worth. And it shows up in their profits. So if that is something that you feel like, yes, this is what I need, I've made this really reasonable. It's only $375 for me to dig in and give you personalized, customized information about your business for the next three months. You get the audio version, you get the transcript version, and then you get time one-on-one -on -one with me. So together, we can look at your business. You can ask me questions about the readings. If you have somebody you're hiring or considering firing, we can test the energy of it to see if that's going to align with where you want to go. We can even look at your goals and see if you are actually on the proper trajectory to reach them.
All this stuff is what puts you ahead of the rest so that your clients can see you, can hear you, so that your prospective clients can raise their hand and go, I want that when you show up in their newsfeed or in their inbox or in their DMs. This stuff is priceless. So if you feel like you can do with more profits, higher self-worth, self and more self-confidence, reach out to me. DM me wherever you're watching this or go hit my website up. There's a contact form. Reach out to me. Let me know you're ready or that you need more information and I'll get right back to you. All right, everybody. I hope you found this helpful and if you did, please share it out with your friends and I will see you later. Robin John Rosenhaus signing off for now. Bye.